So in the city of Corinth, this is the place where St. Paul is writing this letter to, again, the first Corinthian, his first letter to the Corinthians. Within the people, within the society, there was what you call a patron-client relationship. Okay, so what that was is you, let's just say you are middle, low, middle-class person, you would enter into a, again, payer patron-client relationship where you would become the client and some wealthier person would be the patron. And you would enter into a relationship where the patron would maybe you know, provide you with funds, provide you with security, protection, influence, you know, political, social influence. And then you in return would then provide various services for the patron. So it wasn't like a necessarily slave-master relationship. It was more, more business, but again, usually with a higher class of person, with a lower class of person. But what would happen in a relationship like that is it was very important amongst the middle class, lower middle class people to have a very influential patron and then to brag about it. You know, it was like almost like your status was being raised up if you had a, a wealthier or more influential patron. And so what you have within the society is, well, we had one person will say, well, my patron is Bill. You know, and then another would say, well, well, mine's even better. My patron's Marcy, you know, and you would just squabble back and forth in this little bitter jealousy rivalry. And unfortunately, that mindset in the society now is creeping into the church in Corinth. What is happening is you have some saying, well, I, my patron, I belong to Paul. And others saying, well, I'm more important. I belong to Apollos. And then others might say, well, I belong to Cephas or to Peter. And so within it now, we have jealousy and rivalry within the church. So much so that as St. Paul begins chapter 3 in today's first reading, kind of, kind of lowers them down a little bit. He's like, you, you know, when I first met you, I had, to, I had to treat you as infants, you know, because you're new to the faith. But now, several years later, <laughs> I find out that you're, you're grown, but you're still infants. You, you know, you're a four or five-year-old still in your diaper. <laughs> you know, still drinking milk out of a bottle. Why? Because they haven't moved past the rivalry and the pettiness. And so St. Paul says and kind of critiques that this, this whole idea of, well, I belong to me, I belong to Paul, I belong to Apollos, all this is utter nonsense in the eyes of God. Why? Because you are beloved sons and daughters of God the Father, and that is really what matters. As St. Paul says at the end of this, uh, of this first reading, you know, we're just here, that is Paul, Paulus, Cephas, and the others, they're here to what? To plant, to water. But who does the growing, which apparently they haven't done yet, the growing is done to God. But the people don't see themselves as belonging to God, that that's their destination, that's where they're moving to. Instead, they're just so still consumed with status, you know, prestige to be, you know, more honorable than the person next to them. It kind of reminds us of the gospel reading on Sunday, right? When the, uh, the Pharisees, they're all jostling for position for that place of honor at the table. You know, you can just see that Jesus is so uninterested with that. In fact, he gives them the advice of what? Of lowliness. You know, seek the lowest. If, if you're a person seeking honor and prestige, and you want to fight that, seek the lowest. Seek the lowest and let God elevate you. And so we're going to, again, continue on uh, tomorrow uh, to see what else St. Paul has to say. But, but again, I, I think in, in life, when we, when, we, uh, when we quarrel and fight and, and jealous, like, we have to ask ourselves really just one simple question. What really matters? Because I think a lot of stuff that we get upset about and concerned with really in the long run really doesn't mean much, you know, compared to the eternal glory in which God wants to give us. 
May God bless you.